Hey everybody, welcome back to the rocket shop. I'm Bob Maddox, the rocket man. But of course we're not in the rocket shop, we're out in the field. We've got my Maddox Jets Hurricane 100 pound thrust valved pulse jet engine that we're going to run today on this cool go-kart. But this is a build video for this engine, so right now we're going to go back to the shop, watch the build video, and then we're going to come out and blast down the road on this car. Okay, so this is my Maddox Jets 100 pound thrust Hurricane complete engine kit. Now when you get this, basically all you have to have is a TIG welder. Take you maybe a couple hours to weld the thing together. You really don't even need any drills or taps or anything. It really comes complete. Like here's the injectors. The injector is already torqued in. All of the uh, head components are all milled, all drilled, all ready to go. Once you bolt them together, they'll slide right onto the head like they're supposed to. You don't have to do all your own drilling or anything like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stack the head for you so you can see how that goes. And then we'll go ahead and weld the whole thing together and we'll have a complete engine here in just a few hours. And then we'll mount it up on our go-kart. Okay, so now I'm going to stack the one-way reed valve. Now the one-way reed valve is the heart of a pulse jet engine because it allows air to come into the engine. But when the gases explode inside, it won't let them come back out the nose. It makes them blast out the tailpipe. So it has to be a really robust one-way reed valve. So how it's made is the cage is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum cut with a... CNC computerized machine. The reed valve itself is blue spring steel, 10 thousandths thick, also cut on a computerized water jet machine. So it's all very simple, it just stacks on top of each other. So we'll put that together right now. Well, there is to it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to weld the bulkhead together. So it's really simple. We have this eighth inch thick material that already has all the holes in it for our injectors and stuff. And then we're going to weld together this little box out of these four pieces. Now I'm going to take this box, set it down, set the bulkhead over it, and it's going to go in with my torch and fuse weld from the inside all the way around there because the material is so thick you don't even need to use any rod. And then after that's done, We'll drop our bolts in here and weld them in and then flip it over and then we can weld that on the combustion chamber. Alright, we've got our bulkhead with our box all welded together, all fused up from the back. So now, we've got six bolts that we need to put on here, so we're going to drop those in. And we're going to weld the backs of them up here. Then we'll flip it over and finish welding the front, so let's get going on that. Okay, so now I've got my, uh, my bolts welded on from the back. Now I'm going to put some tack welds along the sides here on the box. So what I've done is I put my motor mount over the front, and that's going to hold all these bolts in alignment just where they're supposed to be. So I'll just set it here like this and get those welds on there. Okay, we'll go into a little fast motion here and some cheesy music probably, and I'll get the rest of these pipes welded together. Pretty soon we're going to have an engine to put on our go-kart.
Okay, now we've got all our pipe segments welded together, but we've got a problem. They're not round anymore. When you weld them together, they go oval. But we can fix that. So what I do is I take a piece of wood, three quarters of an inch wide or an inch wide, clamp it to my table so it's nice and rigid. Then you take that seam where it's all puffed up and you slide it down over that. And then you just hit it with the hammer right on the weld. Now it won't hurt the weld, it won't crack it or anything like that. And that'll bring it back around. Now it's round again. Now we do that on every segment, every time. It just takes a few minutes, then they weld together and, uh, and your, your pipe's nice and round. All right, now I'm gonna weld the head onto the combustion chamber. Now, just keep in mind that when you're making your engine, you've got a seam. You wanna keep the seam down because it's kind of ugly if it's out the side or on the top. So keep in mind what's the top and the sides of your uh, engine. Now, on this particular engine, the sides or the injectors are on the sides instead of on top and bottom. So this is gonna be our bottom, so I'm gonna weld it up that way. Okay, so now I got the bulkhead welded to the combustion chamber. So let's take a look at that. See how simple that is? Okay, so now we're gonna take, we're gonna put this down with our seam here. We want all the seams to line up. And then we're just gonna stack everything on top of it. But here's a little tip. This is a clamp that I make. It only takes a few minutes to make it. And I have one for pretty much every size of every joint on all my engines. And I'll put that right here and then stack the next stage on and pull it tight and it'll make everything perfectly round. And because everything's cut out with a computer, all the pieces fit perfectly, but they're not completely round after you roll them, so you pull it with this clamp, makes everything perfect. So that's the tip of the day. So let's get on to building the rest of the pipe. Okay, so we have our Hurricane 100 pipe all built, so we have one last thing to do, and that's the intake. So we have our intake flange, and then our side pieces, we just weld them together. And then we'll take that and weld it onto our flange. We have our intake. Alright, so we have our intake all welded up. Looks nice. Now, the engine will run without the intake. You don't actually need it, but if you're going to be firing this thing up with, uh, say, a leaf blower, it really helps direct the air into it. And also, um, if you have a 
kind of an odd application where you uh, want to use it as a motor mount. You can actually weld to it to where I don't really uh, suggest that you weld to the pipe itself because it gets hot and cold and, and uh, you know, in the long run could crack or something like that. So uh, anyway, so that's our cool intake. Okay, so we have our Hurricane 100 pipe all welded together. We have our intake welded up. We have our head put together. So we're just going to bolt everything together on the engine now. So first of all, we're going to take the injectors. I already put one in. We're just going to slide this in from behind. I have to put lock nuts on everything on a pull strip because everything vibrates a lot. Get that on there. We're going to take our motor mount, slide our motor mount on. Everything's cut out with a computer so everything fits nice and tight. We'll take our head. Now this, uh, this head has got an instant start propane bar on it that actually I just invented today. I just thought about how to do it last night, set it up this morning and uh, set it up on the floor and fired it off and it fired right up. So that's good. So we'll put that on. Take our intake. Put that on. Get all our nuts and bolts put on all the way around, tighten everything up, and we have our engine complete. Now normally you would have a fuel bar to, to put on it, like this one. This is how it looks on the inside of the engine with the injectors. But I'm not putting this one on. This would come in a kit if you buy a kit or a regular engine. I'm not putting this one on because I'm going to put this engine on one of my go-karts that's already got the fuel bar. So we'll just tighten this all up, and then we'll get it on our go-kart, and then we'll take it out for a run. I just set up this 100-pound thrust Hurricane to do the very first test on it to see if my idea is going to work for the instant start on it. Because if I can do instant start, I can push the button, it instant starts on the pro the small propane bottle, and I just turn on the, the uh, fuel pumps. Now, get, now the valve engine runs on gasoline, not diesel. And, uh, and then I can just take off. So I just set it up, haven't tested it yet. So um, hopefully it's going to fire right up and you're going to see this video. Because if it doesn't, well, I probably might show you the video anyway. But, but anyway, so this is exciting for me because I, I need my engines to uh, instant start. So here we go. first try. All right. Now we can instant start this thing. There you go. History in the making. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're going to take our Hurricane engine out and run it now. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode.